floss tube friends it's Carolyn your stash sister coming to you finally with another video I know it's taken me a minute to get this one done and um, there's just been a lot going on life has been super busy and um, I've set things up to film and then I haven't filmed and then it just gets shoved to the back of the dining room table and then we have Sunday dinner and I gotta move it all to the bedroom and then I bring it all back out and then I don't film and then I take it back into the bedroom and bring it all back out. Okay, we're, we're, we're just getting this done. We're gonna do this. Just one moment because this little thing behind me is making me cuckoo. Hang on. There. <laughs> Nobody probably even noticed that that was doing that behind you, but it's making me nuts. I'm not. I'm not OCD at all. Mm -mm. No, not at all. Anyway, this summer has been really, really fun. And you know, we had that summer school, the Adding Me to Work summer school, that I was lucky enough to be an attendee there, and I love that event every year it's it's my go go to every year event and it's my seventh year going and this year was so much fun I mean they're all fun but this one just was the best and we were able to not only have all six of the designers that live here and design here in Arizona they're just in our backyard and we're so blessed to have them so close and part of our stitching community but my favorite part I think was the uh, women who come from all over who've never been to the shop before and we've had our friends come from Australia Robin and Sue and friends from the East Coast and from Georgia and uh, I got to meet my friend Doris we've been phone friends for probably a year now and to meet him in person that was just that was a treat that was a real treat to uh, have to meet her and, and just you know how you meet people and you're just friends you know your friends and and uh, I look forward to seeing her again and then we were able to see our friends from Illinois came and friends from California and they're all just your friends you know how it is when you are with your other stitching sisters you're you're just friends and you have this wonderful craft in common and it was a great great weekend and um, it's a little overwhelming sometimes because I have always had attic needlework to shop at always um, so when women come for the first time and they walk in it's a little overwhelming. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot to look at. There's a lot to see. There's a, and um, it's overwhelming. And so I'm so grateful that so many women were able to just come and be a part of the shop and to experience the shop. What, what a fun opportunity. So I want to share with you just a little bit about um, the classes. And share with you our class projects now just so you know these are class projects they're not available to the general public but there are samplers that these projects were based off of and those samplers will all be available at market so just put it on your list as something that you want to pick up at market so I'm just going to share that with you real quickly so our first sampler was from Tanya at uh, the Scarlet House Needleworks and she provide she gave us this great picture. You see, see any resemblance? Mm -mm. But the name of the sampler is Mary Holly. This was an American sampler and she gave us this beautiful pattern. Let me get it close so you can see. Little Quaker motifs. And these are the needle pointing silks that go with it. The fabric, which is AL by Picture This Plus. And we got that, that great 
I love the packaging. I love the packaging when you go to classes. It's always special. Then also Nancy Nancy Mills from Five Times Blush. She has an Etsy store and uh, she's an artist and a button a connoisseur of buttons. She really is. She's like the queen of the buttons. And I got this adorable, look at those buttons. Look, sparkly ones. It's just a bottle of buttons and it says, worn and weathered buttons. I love that, because most days I'm worn and weathered. So this is my bottle of buttons. That's right. So she taught us the Victorian art of paper piecing. And I don't know if you can see, but we went around the picture and pricked it with a needle, like a big fat needle. And then we sewed buttons on. And these are all vintage buttons that have come from other places. So they've come from clothes and it's just her collection of vintage buttons. And then we mounted it in this beautiful box. And on the inside, we can finish it. That was pretty fun. That was really special. Then also, from Gloria at Milady's Needle. This is called a snippet roll. Do you guys know what a snippet roll is? It's a roll. Here, let me show you the picture. Look it up on Pinterest. They're super cool. And you take needlework and quilts and little old things and you put them on this long strip. Then you roll them around a spool. So I, I can't wait to get this done and show you what it looks like all the way done. Isn't that fun? That's really, that, I'm really excited about this one because it's really different. And I never even heard of a snippet roll. But if you look them up on Pinterest, they're beautiful, super pretty. Then, this is from Samplers Remembered. This back here is the sample, uh, sampler, excuse me, Lucy. Snooshaw is her name. Sorry if I mispronounce. And then our project is this little needle roll. And one of my favorite things that she gave us, this is how it was packaged. You get to open. Look at this. This is an ort jar and she had this cute little cuteness it looks like a little wooden button made and then you open it up and you put your orts in so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue a magnet to the bottom of this and then it will stick to my tray my needlework tray and then I always have a place to put my orts I just thought of that last night so we'll see but isn't that I, I don't know how she did that we'll have to ask her super cute so that was another project this really is for the money a great deal for the money because for the cost of admission you get six full projects plus six patterns for the samplers that the projects are based off of. So that's a, that's a really good deal. Then from Needlework Press, this is a pencil case. And we're stitching it on weeks straw with the cotton and then this is our lining fabric. So, I think that the, and then our last but not least, Linda Vince, Linda Vincent from uh, Needle Made Designs. This is how she packaged her project. See, it's all in there. 
the fabric and the beautiful I she um the fabric the backing fabric it's really I'm not, I'd, I'd open it and pull it all out but then I can get it back in do you want to see it's the fabric oh, I'm not pulling it out I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not pulling it out but so she found this cuteness it's like a flower frog on top of the jar so when you're done with the jar and you've stitched your project and you don't have it inside there look you have a place to put your scissors I love that it's really nice and this is her project was this sweet little um, needle book it's called daddy's girl needle book and but you get the whole alphabet so you can put your own initials there you can put your name there I'm gonna put the year and then these are Gloria and the silks you know me I'm a silk girl so those were our summer school projects super fun super great weekend seriously girls put it on your bucket list to go to some kind of whether it's a retreat I know those are popping up everywhere there's one here coming in April that McKenna is organizing I know that there's the stitch con there's the summer school we just had there's another event coming up in November there's events out there get yourself to an event or just have a girls weekend stitching come to the attic come say hi that would be really cool really fun Alrighty, it's September. It should be fall. I know some of you are having fall where you are. We're not having fall. It's still 106 outside. In fact, I kept trying to film earlier. This is like my 16th time trying to get this film. And every time I would start to film, just I just would sweat and then the sun changed and then it's coming in the windows. And anyway, it's, it's still warm. You know I whine about the weather, so so here's you know how you know it when weather changes in Arizona? It doesn't cool off ever. Like we have summer and then we have summer and then we have almost summer and then we have not quite summer and then we have summer. So those are our seasons. And uh, this is how we know that the seasons are changing. The candy changes. Yeah, the candy changes. Time for Halloween candy! So we know it's fall because the candy in the candy jars changes at the Clifford House. That's how we know. So, fall candy's out. It must be fall. And I, I did get Halloween put up behind me. And um, I know it's only September, but I don't have any fall decorations. And if I didn't get them up when I got them up, that's it. They weren't going up. So, anyway. But... We are grateful, and I, my thoughts go out to those of you who are in the path of Hurricane Florence. I think that's her name, Hurricane Florence. Last night I turned on the Weather Channel and I just watched the weather, and I, uh, my prayers are with you. That it's never that just looks terrifying to be in the path of a hurricane. So I hope I hope you're all safe and taking precautions and doing what you know you should do all right I have some finishes a couple one I started last year and one I just started a little bit ago I finished this isn't she cute with her little orange head her little pumpkin head okay sorry and this is called this is a design by Sub Rosa, and I don't think she doesn't sell to shops. I'm gonna get you the pattern. She just has an Etsy store. She doesn't she doesn't sell to shops because I think she's in Hungary or somewhere. And this is called Pumpkin Witch. Pumpkin Witch by Sub Rosa, and I just put her on some. 40 count lakeside vintage autumn gold and I use the called four threads these are uh, like weeks dye works I think really cute it was really fun and I, I got her almost done 
last fall, but then you know how it is. Like once October passes, it's on to Christmas. You're done. And I only had maybe, I think I only had like the little cauldron. That was all that was left, was the cauldron. And I didn't finish it. So I got her done. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna finish her. I'll let you know. And then, this is a new design. This is what's on my tray, so I've just left it there. This is by, this is called My Pretties by Abby Rose Designs. It's brand new, which is like miraculous that I bought a pattern and stitched it while it's still brand new in the store. That never, never, never happens. really cute and I just used the call for threads except except I gave her red hair I gave her a purple dress I gave her red hair I gave her alphaba green face did you know that the green face makeup for Alphaba in um, Wicked, the musical Wicked. MAC Cosmetics um, supplies that. And the color of the makeup is Alphaba Green. It's Alphaba Green and Alphaba wears it in Wicked and the Grinch in How the Grinch Stole Christmas on Broadway also wears Alphaba Green makeup. <laughs> Not that anybody cares, but I have a son who works in New York City and he toured with How the Grinch Stole Christmas and he was the press Grinch. So he went out and did all the press events. Um, he didn't do the stage work and he managed, was the assistant company manager. So what that means is 50 people get on the airplane, 50 people get off the airplane, 50 people get checked into a hotel, people, 50 people get checked out of the hotel, 50 people eat dinner, 50 people eat breakfast. You gotta make sure the kids are good because there's kids he, with the tour and the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And then he would fly and, and do press events. So it was really, it was, it was kind of cool. But he told me, Alphabet Green uh, makeup from Matt. So that's, oh, and red shoes. Because every well-dressed witch wears red shoes. So, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed her. She's all done. I don't have a clue how I'm going to finish her. Or if I'll finish her. Let's be, let's be real. <laughs> let's be honest. I stitched her. I don't know if I'll get her finished. I don't know where, what I'm going to do with her. But, she was really cute and a lot of fun to stitch. So... Thank you, Abby Rose Designs, for this adorable design. I guess I read on her package that this was her first Halloween design that she had ever that she had ever designed, and she did a great job. Thumbs up, do more, because I love her designs a lot. So I tried an experiment. I've been working on Esther Sire. Hang on. I just I just feel kind of out of it today. Okay, here. This is Esther, and I got her out and I put her in a roll of frame. This is the roll of frame. I've never worked on a frame before. In fact, I put this in backwards because look what I noticed. Look look look. Okay, this is a little magnet, so you can put your you can put your needle here. And your, your needle will stick so you don't have to put your needle in your fabric. Or you put your pattern here. See, I'll show you. I didn't know, I didn't know. See, it's a magnet. But obviously, I didn't know that because I stuck it up backwards. <laughs> oh well. So I've been working on the sampler and in the frame. This is my first time ever in the frame. 
and the jury is out. I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going in the frame. I'm gonna keep doing. I love to stitch in hand. I love to stitch with a hoop, but I love a little hoop, just a small hoop. I'm not I'm not a very fast stitcher, so I put it in a hoop and it usually gets me through a night or a session or however long I'm stitching. A small, I use a small hoop. So this is different for me to have it in this frame. So then I was at the shop and we had a, a you know like you put the frame on the frame? On the a floor stand, floor stand, that's the word, floor stand. So I put the piece on the floor stand, but the floor stand has these uh, little legs that come out of the bottom that slip under your chair so it can come close to you. But the couch that I sit on to stitch, the bottom of the couch is one of those lazy boy things, so it goes all the way to the floor. So there's no space for me to stick the little thingies. So I'm, tr I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying. I want to be able to put this in a frame and I want to be able to stitch with both hands and I want to be able to stitch faster and get stuff done. And cause this is, this is, I'm so, I'm so slow at the stitching and it makes me crazy. So I want to go faster. And everybody's talking about when you put it in a frame and you stick it on the flaps frame or anyway, and off you go. Okay, so I'm trying to hold on to the frame and I'm trying to do two hands. So you use your right hand and you come up through the bottom then you gotta hang on to it and then you gotta do it and then you gotta find the little hole with your left hand and my left hand's like Ugh! and I'm trying to find the hole and you're poking everywhere else but the hole and then you get down and then you gotta change it over and then you gotta do the right hand you change it over. See? This is my dilemma. So I put it in the little frame and it doesn't fit under the chair of the couch so I have a chair another chair and it's um like a leather chair but it's it's high and but I could get it closer to me so my husband says why don't you go over and sit in the other chair and so all right I'll do it so I go over and sit in the other chair I sit down and I say but, but my lights over there and he's well, I'll move your light. So we pick up the light, we, the cords, all the way around the couch to the chair. So I have a light, I have a chair, I have my frame, I have my floor stand. So I sit down, put it on the floor, and bring it right in. Now, I am I'm tall, and my um, I have a stool, and I have a stool. And it's like a footstool, and you, you, it sits down in front of me, and I put my feet. And by putting my feet up on that little stool, it kind of puts your back in the situation in a place where it's not painful, and you don't get like sore back. So, he sits me down, sit in my chair. I got my light, got my frame, got my floor frame, and I bring it into me, and I said, "Oh, I I need my I need my foot thing." And he says, okay, so he brings me my foot thing and he puts the foot thing around the floor thing and I got my feet on it. <laughs> oh! But the arms of the chair come up to here. They're like like big overstuffed arm things. So they're like here. And so I'm tucked in this little chair, I'm tucked, tucked, got my frame, got my stool, got my light. <laughs> my husband looks at me and says, well, I don't hope we don't have a fire because <laughs> we can't get you out of the chair. <sighs> I, said, <laughs> I said, stop it. I'm going to make this work. I'm making this work. So I'm sitting there. I'm stitching, but the chair is close and, and the arms are high. And I'm like, rrr, rrr. so I stick my arms on the chair. So I'm, <laughs> I'm Chair because there's no any room in my arms. 
I got my stitching. I got my foot stool. <laughs> it, it did not work. Like 10 minutes in, I have cramps in my arms. I'm sweating because I'm in this chair. believe it so the jury is out then I tried it again in my couch so then I had to I, I just like put it away like okay put it away I I can't it's just too much I, I can't so I got it out that the other day I put the roll of frame on the lap the floor frame and uh, it didn't go under my couch bed. I had, I couldn't use my footstool thing. And I did get some stitching done on the frame, the floor frame on the roll frame. And it worked all right. But I made a ton of mistakes, had to rip everything out. So I love Esther. She's going in time out because I cannot figure out how to work on her. So those of you who have mastered the art of frame stitching, please share. Share with me your, um, how you do that without feeling like you're closer. It's, it was so claustrophobic in my, the chair with the high arms and the, the thing and the other thing and the, all the things. <laughs> said, we, we can't, like, we, there was a fire in the house, that's it. We just can't get you out of your stitching chair because I was pretty blocked in. So, let me know. But how, if you have tricks and tips, other than um, putting the frame on the right way, please let me know because I, I would love to master the art of stitching with a frame and a floor frame. I want to be able to do that, but um, not, not just yet. I can't, I can't do it just yet. I'm trying, but Esther's in time out. So I also, I feel like I'm a little late to the party, but this is um, Esther Edison by Chessie and me. I bought the chart at market and then Jean uh, made it the sampler of the month for, um, August, August, and I did a conversion to silk. <laughs> Ladies, I want you all to love silk like I do. And I want you all to, to at least try. Just try stitching with silk. Even if it's just one color. You know, there, there are, there are colors pieces that only call for one color like all red you know you could stitch something in all red you could stitch something you know it doesn't have to be very it doesn't have to be expensive you can pick a design that just has one color I'm one of those monochromatic designs and I just want I want you all to have the experience of stitching with silk because it's it's just a great experience so Oh my gosh, look. So these are, this is Esther Edison in silk. So she, I finished up my little, my little pretties and I'm going to start Esther tonight. Now the fabric that I used is something that I bought in back in 2013 and it's called parchment I it was at the attic it was I bought the whole piece and it's a it's a beautiful hand dyed piece of linen but you know what it calls for she calls for vintage exemplar in lakeside drop dead gorgeous on the vintage exemplar you could even put it on light exemplar if you wanted to, to do that so beautiful. It's just beautiful. I'm excited. Red house, red silk. So 
love it. Maybe I'll do that for a giveaway. I'll, um, some silk. Give away like a small pattern and one a skein of silk and some fabric because I want you all to love stitching with silk like I do. And I, I know, I know it's a bite in the budget. It's just, you heard me say it before. There's other things you don't need because you need to stitch with silk. So then I did some shopping. Shopping, shopping. I wasn't going to buy the whole half yard, but I did. I couldn't help myself. Look at this. Okay. This is vintage pearl barley, 46 count by Lakeside Linens. And I bought this to stitch Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. I have the pattern, but I don't have the threads. And also Halloween Quaker. I don't, I'll, I don't have the patterns out right now, but look at this linen. And I started doing the math on how much linen I was gonna need to stitch both of those, and I was gonna... <gasps> I couldn't leave it behind. I could not, you know what I couldn't do? I couldn't cut into the whole half yard. I couldn't do it. When the linen comes in from Lakeside and it's just this beautiful, it's hard for me to cut it. Like I have a physical reaction to somebody who needs me to cut up a half a yard of Lakeside linen. I, it's just too pretty. I don't want to. I don't want to cut it up. But I will stitch with it. I'll probably stitch with the whole half yard, and I'll stitch over in this little corner over here because I don't want to cut it. It's too pretty. Anyway, well, that took a little bite out of my budget, and then I just picked up some fall things. This is out at um, stores. I don't know if you subscribe. If I picked it up at the shop. It's got some great little projects. This is the fall issue. The fall issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. I don't do punch needle. I um, I love the way it looks. It's super cute. But I don't do it. But look at that. Look at that. And that. Cute pumpkin in the truck. So, I love this magazine. Does anybody else like to smell paper? Maybe it's the generation. Like the, that and um, crayons. Like when you open a box of crayons, you're just like, oh, I love the smell of an open box of crayons. And really great paper. This is. I love this. I, I love the hard copy. I love having the paper. So, and then I also picked up more fall. This is the uh, Bittersweet and Broomsticks by Brenda Gervais with the needle and thread. She's really cute. I don't know. I may stitch more fall. But and I can tell. I'm going to jump onto the Christmas bandwagon and fall's going to be over. And then this was from Chessie and me. This is called the Give Thee Thanks. Do you know what I love about um, Linda Lodgeslager's designs? I love that she uses specialty stitches in her, I love, that, first of all, that checkered house. I die for the checkered house. It's very Mackenzie Childs. And then the and then she has little specialty stitches that she I love that she includes specialty stitches in her patterns. So her patterns are awesome. 
Then this is a, um, a little sampler by, called Martha Howes. It's by Scattered Seed, Scattered Seed Sampler. And then this is my hands-on designs. It's not a new design, but I love, love, love the same. It says there are good ships and wood ships and ships that sail the sea, but the best ships are friendships. May they always be. Hands-on designs. I love that one. I just love it. I love her sayings. I, I love samplers. I'm not a big ABC girl, but I love samplers with uh, sayings, nice sayings in them. They just, they just get to me. So that, that is, well, I bought more, but sometimes I get embarrassed by how much I buy. And I think, oh, I'm not, I can't show it all. <laughs> I got this. This is some, I think I heard somewhere this was going to go out of print. It's not, it's not out of print. Not out of print. It's, um, it's got the great little blackbird designs in it. So it's called Sweetland of Liberty. It's available. So get it because someday it will go out of print but not right now it's available now so don't worry about that oh here it is so I got the nice so my giveaway winner was Rosalie Colby and the other day in the mail I got the nicest little note thank you that is you know what snail mail is the best cards in the mail with a little handwritten note make your day they're wonderful and Came silk. She knows me. And this is silk in colors, which is beautiful silk. I, it's, a, it's a little difficult to get. I, I know we don't carry it at the shop anymore, but um, it's beautiful silk. So thank you. Thank you for the silk. And um, I'm going to put together a giveaway that involves silk because I want you, my friends on Floss Tube, to love silk as much as I do. Even if it's just one color. You know, you, you can't, I don't do every project in silk. Um, I, I use, you know, if they call for the weeks or the, the over dyed cottons, I'll, I'll use those. But uh, sometimes, and I'll whine about it the whole time. But silk is really my favorite. It's just once you do, it just goes through the fabric. So I wanna share that with you. And so let me let me think about that for a minute and put that together. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my friends, my online friends. And um, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget, if you think that this is worth your while, please um, so hit the subscribe button and the bell. So subscribe and the little bell to notify you. And we will we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.